three undisputed and not one but two divisions like i said before you know this meant everything to me like i said before you know this meant everything to me if you don't get the opportunity to become undisputed at 147 would you leave the sport with disappointment with regret like what how would that affect you not at all my thing was this i was driven by being a world champion of okay. the world that's what i was driven by there's four belts though right i already already did that already did okay that. already accomplished that if i leave the sport and not being able to accomplish being becoming undisputed at 147 it doesn't hinder me or or make me feel in any way because i already did it before i know uh -huh. how it feels uh just talked to errol he said he hopes to get the rematch and he would like to have the rematch at 154 pounds are you interested in moving up and wait for the rematch or does it have to be at 47. it definitely don't have to be at 47. it definitely don't have to be at 47. it definitely don't have to be at 47. like i said you know uh, i'm i'm in a hurt business 47 was kind of hard for me too I was already talking about moving up in weight and challenging Charlo. So 54 wouldn't be outreach of anything. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. And let's cook. We not gonna waste no time. We getting straight into this video. Terrence Crawford, with all of his demands that he's all of a sudden coming up with to make a rematch with Errol Spence, now he's demanding the fight must go on at 147 pounds. On top of demanding more money once again. Y'all heard what I just played. What I played, y'all, is Terrence Crawford out of his own mouth showing you he is what he's always been and he's always been a liar somebody that contradicts himself over and over again if y'all heard the first clip that i heard y'all that was in the interview with kate abado he told kate that him becoming undisputed at 147 it doesn't matter to him because he's already been undisputed errol spence needs to become undisputed because he doesn't know what it feels like also in that interview Bud said he didn't care about the Errol Spence fight. He said that he didn't even want the Errol Spence fight. The fans care about it. He didn't care about Undisputed, right? This is what he said. Before that, you heard me playing a clip of Terrence Crawford after he beat Errol Spence, and he says that becoming Undisputed two times, it meant everything to him. Once again, he said it meant everything to him. Is that man contradicting himself? Was that man telling lies? Okay, that's not good enough for you. I slid in another clip. Terrence Crawford, after the Errol Spence fight, he clearly says, if Errol Spence wants to fight at 154, it's not a problem with me. Actually, 147 is very hard for me to make, so the fight don't have to be at 147. It could be at 154. Now Terrence Crawford, he comes back and he shows you the type of person that he is once again. Now he's demanding that the fight has to be at 147. Tells Errol Spence, I'm the man. Fight at 147. Take it or leave it. After also saying that Errol Spence, he was the reason why this fight happened. I got to thank Errol Spence and I got to be real. And if Errol Spence wants to fight at a different weight, we can make it happen because he did this for me, right? Errol Spence gave up a lot of things that he didn't have to give up to make this fight happen. I demanded a lot of things and Errol Spence gave me these things to make the fight happen. Yeah, your boy, Bud Crawford, he admitted that. But once again, he went back on his word. So this video right here is really not about letting people know who Terrence Crawford is because by this time, if you watch boxing and you keep up with boxing content, you should know who Terrence Crawford is, right? You should know what type of person that he is. He's always been the same type of person. He ain't changed. So he's not exposing who he is because we should already know that. 
What Terrence Crawford is exposing, he is exposing who his fan base is. Because a lot of you fans that are fans of Bud Crawford, y'all are running around and y'all are condoning this behavior, right? Y'all are condoning lies. Y'all are condoning a man that constantly contradicts himself. And now, after everything that Bud told you and he told you that he would do it for Errol Spence, he turns around and says, I don't owe him nothing. I don't care what he did for me. I don't owe him nothing. It's a take it or leave it because ha ha ha, I'm the boss now, right? And y'all are clapping your hands to this. Y'all are in comments saying that, oh, Terrence Crawford won the fight. He's the A side. He doesn't owe Errol Spence anything. He doesn't have to do anything. Do you forget that Bud won the fight? And y'all are showing what type of character and what type of men you are in real life, right? You're showing that you don't have no type of morals. You don't live by no type of code that's solid. You don't have any type of integrity. Because if you okay with this, imagine what type of men y'all are in real life. You know, um, it's crazy how something like boxing can expose a man or a woman characteristics in real life. You know, because y'all are running with this and you sit up and you heard and you seen what played out in everything that Errol Spence did for Terrence Crawford. And you also heard what Bud said he was going to do in return. And he turned around and now he's doing the exact opposite. Now, at first I said it could just be a rumor. They could just be trying to sell the fight. But when Steven So Cole Nelson Terrence Crawford, you know, his brother, his best friend came out and said, look, Bud Crawford has offered Errol Spence a rematch at 147. Errol Spence can take it or leave it. We really don't want him to take the rematch anyway because it's no use for a rematch. But we're offering him 147 and he can take it or leave it. When I seen that, didn't surprise me. You know what I'm saying? Because... I never said anything personal about Terrence Bud Crawford. I never called him out of his name. But this some straight up sucker shit. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford, we already know what he built like. Can he fight? Yeah, he can fight. But as a man and the character that he has as a person, he not him. You know what I'm saying? He's flawed. He's not real. Y'all like to run around talking about, you know, I'm real and I'm this and that. Well, Terrence Crawford is the definition of somebody that ain't real. As a man, you only got your word and your balls. And once you give a man your word, you supposed to stand on that and do just that. And one thing that Terrence Crawford has showed that he don't have time and time again is integrity and morals and to be a man of his word and to do exactly what he say he gonna do. But what he has shown you, he's shown you that he's a liar. He's shown you that he's gonna contradict himself over and over again. And he's shown you that he's a snake and you can't trust nothing that he says. He'll tell you anything. He'll tell you that the sky is raining blood. And some of y'all will believe it. And then when y'all walk outside and see that the sky is not raining blood, you'll make an excuse to take up for Terrence Crawford telling you a bold-faced lie. This happens time and time and time again. And y'all don't see nothing wrong with it. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with Terrence Crawford in the way that he's doing Errol Spence. But see, the thing is, is I made several videos and I told Errol Spence, Walk away from Terrence Bud Crawford during the negotiations. Walk away from him. Don't give him this opportunity. Errol Spence gave him the opportunity, gave him his A side, and gave him everything he wanted and more. And Terrence Crawford turned around and shitted on him when it was time for him to do the same thing. I don't got nothing else to say. He exposed the character of his fan base. Because y'all rocking with this. Anyway, for the real ones, make sure that you hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again.
and I'm gone.